the BTEC GMRS V1 GMRS HT. I did a video a while back that I will link uh, right up in here somewhere comparing GMRS radios and quite clearly on the BTEC website, this radio is listed to be a two watt radio. And about a half a dozen people came by the, the video and said, no, 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 that's a five watt radio. That's a five watt radio. That's a five watt radio. Really? Even though BTEC's website lists as a two watt radio. Okay, let's test that today. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0, where we do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in two-way radio. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. I'm also WRFK311 in the GMS, GMRS world. And uh, it's been a while since I've used the GMRS license. Uh, I've been monitoring one of the local repeaters here. Not much activity on it. But uh, one of these days, I'm going to actually get some QSOs done on video. Bale Thing Tech, who is in Arlington, South Dakota. They are a U.S.-based company. In a nutshell, they take Baofeng radios, they upgrade them, they change them, they make them better, and then they sell them through their website and also on Amazon. And if you have a problem with one of their radios or a question or need support, you call a, st you call a support line in South Dakota, not overseas. So obviously right now, I've, I should have, have appealed to all of you who are concerned with buying Chinese radios that have to call China for tech support or to ask questions or whatever. So that should assuage any type of hesitation to buy radios. But, I mean, these are not just imported Belfangs and sold and then supported in the USA. They actually do a lot of work to upgrade the receivers and upgrade the quality of radio that comes out of China. So Belfang Tech is a great new sponsor of this show I want to thank them for believing in the show and for allowing me to review their products. This is the BTEC GMRS V1, and it is built on the platform of the UV82. They've got several models of UV82. They've got a, the original UV82 with a, a 5 watt dual band uh, HT for ham radio. The UV82 HP, which is a 7 or 8 watt uh, HT. The UV82 Charlie, which is a commercial part 90 type accepted radio for the commercial band that is made by, by a BTEC, Baofeng Tech and uh, carried by a couple different vendors, I think. You can get those on Amazon. This is the GMRS radio, which obviously is just going to be mono band since it's just the GMRS band. If you're wondering about GMRS and what it is, right there, uh, right there, uh, no, no, oh, it's backwards. Right there, I'll post a video about ham radio versus GMRS. So I have both licenses. I suggest you do the same thing. So this is going to be just quick, really quick unboxing. You've got a user manual. Ooh, it's color. Color pages. These are these are laminate pages. Not just uh, not just paper. Interesting. Cool. Okay, so we'll take this out here. They do. Uh, the website does advertise a 1800 milliamp hour battery. Uh, that's what's there. Okay, good deal. Got a desk uh, desk desktop cradle. Mono band antenna, I'm sure, is what that is. Although it might be a dual band antenna. It, it's marked as 136 to 174 and 400 to 480, these, this antenna. Now, the radio is not going to transmit on those frequencies, but it will receive standard two-prong K connector there, earpiece. So it will receive on those frequencies. We're going to take a look at that here in just a second. Channel mode. There we go. Let's zoom down on that. So there we go with the menu. menu. This is standard Balfour menu. Transmit power, power is low and high, so there's two-step power. According to their website, which I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here to this website really quick, and I'm gonna show you guys what exactly I'm talking about. Okay, I mentioned that this radio was a two watt radio. This is BaofengTech.com product GMRS V1. If we scroll down right here, we're gonna go to these are some additional specs. Here we go, VTech GMRS V1 GMRS handheld plus VHF UHF analog scanner, so it'll scan through. The amateur bands. It'll receive uh, broadcast stereo, 
It'll receive VHF 136 to 174, and it'll receive UHF 400 to 520 megahertz. It'll transmit and receive GMRS channels 1 to 30. Power, this right here. High and low selectable power, 2 watts on high power, 500 milliwatts on low power. Now, a lot of you came, let me, let me, let me zoom on that real quick, so just make it a little bit bigger in the screen. There we go. And several of you came along and said, no, 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 that's wrong because the uh, it because you have the radio and you've tested it and you've put it on the meter and and found five watts on it wonderful excellent i am happy for you i really am i'm not being sarcastic i'm actually happy for you but according to their own website it's only a two watt radio so we're going to test that here in just a minute but i do want to show you the the rest of the menu this is very similar to a uv82 menu or a, a balfour menu you hold down the menu button as you turn the power on up here and it goes back and forth. Now, here's the channel. Here's um, 145, 100. It's beeping. It's not transmitting when I try to key up. Here's um, 435.100, which is outside of the GMRS band. Okay. So it doesn't seem to transmit in VFO mode at all. It seems to only transmit when you're in channel mode. Okay, VFO mode is basically for scanning anyway, so that you can scan through and probably change this does hold 128 channels total but there's only about 30 channels programmed into it like all the the recent gmrs radios i've been reviewing gmrs channels at zero one through two two are you're going to be your simplex frequencies and then repeater channels 15 through 22 are going to be your repeater offset channels so those are basically on the 462 dot something range and they are positive offset so that they transmit on 467 megahertz 467 dot something uh, and receive on 462 dot something there's there's eight channels and they all transmit off the offsets always the same in GMRS the only difference between all these repeaters is what CTCS or digital PL tones they use. You can turn those on and off depending on the repeater owner's discretion. And as long as you know that information, you can transmit on repeaters, assuming that they're an open repeater. So let's take a look. So, and, and more questions about GMRS. What is GMRS? What are the channels? I will put links in the description below, but I also link videos up here periodically throughout this video because I've done several videos prior to this one explaining what GMRS is explaining which radios I like, and uh, doing a ham radio versus GMRS, which I linked earlier. Uh, so if anyone has any questions like that, it's already been answered on this channel. Go watch those other videos. Uh, the, purpose of, the purpose of this video is to do the power output test on this uh, GMRS V1. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I've got my... There it is right there. My, B, my BTEC GMRS V1 plugged into my... MFJ 849 digital SWR and watt meter. I will, those of you who are into GMRS may not, may not have heard of MFJ. They make ham radio products, but they make two-way radio products as well. Great uh, meters and uh, watt meters and power meters for multiple uses there. So you can uh, go check more of that in the description below. I will link that in there as well. That is going to be, we're going to try on GMRS 01, which is a simplex frequency. So in other words, it's not an offset frequency. And I'm going to make sure it's on high power. That's low power. Actually, I'm going to try on low power too. There's low power right there. So let's try that. There's low power. 0 0.72 watts. So that's about, so according to the BTEC website, it is uh, about a 500 milliwatt, which is 0 0.5. So it's a little bit higher than 0 0.5 milliwatts. We're going to switch to TXP high power right there. And I'm going to key up. And it's three and a half watts. So not the five watts that some of you told me it was, but also more than the two watts that the website claims. Let's try another channel. I'll try the top of the channels here. GMRS 22. We're on the top band right there. So we'll go GMRS 22. Change, make sure we're on high power still. Change it to high power. It's defaulted to low power. And change it to high power right there. Still about three and a half watts. 
on uh, cha GMRS channel 22. Now let's go to one of the repeater channels. I'm just going to pick one. Repeater channel 17 is where we're at right there. And this shouldn't make any difference, but we'll see. Uh, that is going to be... Make sure it's on high power. Still about 3.5 watts. Maybe a little bit less. 3.1 watts. 3.1 watts. So, prognosis is that this radio is actually neither 2 watts nor 5 watts. Now, I will say that a lot of the times this can vary. Um, you know, BTEC is really good about quality control, so I, I kind of feel like that if, if some of you got a 5-watt radio, then it must have been... And you know what? It, it might vary by meter as well. I've tested many ham radios on this meter, and it's around the 440 range, and it's been just fine. Um, but... It might be a quality control thing coming out of Baofeng to where they're not all the same and BTEC doesn't want to advertise it too high because if someone gets a radio that only does three or four watts and it's advertised at five watts, they're going to want to return the radio thinking it's defective. So I'd rather have a radio that does three and a half watts that's advertised at two rather than a radio that does three and a half watts that's advertised at five. Now, I, I stand by what I said. I think Baofeng Tech is a really good company and, and they stand behind their product. You know, there's only so much you can do with some items, so I don't know if that's something that is more or less than what they could do. This specific model right here is doing 3.5 watts across the entire GMS, GMRS band. And while that's more than it's advertised, because again, it's only advertised at 2 watts, it's still not as good as you can get on some of the, uh, the, the new Ochang 805G and 905G radios, are advertised at five watts. We did a test on the 805G a while back and it was running at, at five watts. There's a couple of new Radiodity radios, the GM30, that's also a five watt uh, HT. If that video hasn't posted by now, it will be posting soon on this channel. So being that, uh, being that this is a popular radio, as far as form factor, it will go into the same charger and take the same batteries as any of the UV82 models from Baofeng or BTEC, Baofeng Tech. The fact that it's advertised at two watts on high power and doing three and a half, I think, is a very good thing. So it depends on what you're looking for. Yes, you can get more powerful radios. You certainly can. But do you need that? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. You know, this radio right now at, at listed on BTEC's website is fifty four ninety nine. So some of these uh, some of these other ocean radios are like uh, upwards of sixty or seventy dollars, and some of the uh, I think the radioities are somewhere down around the forty dollar range. So it really kind of depends on what you want to get. If you want the capability to scan through the ham radio band or not. If you need if if you like having a radio, if you already have a UV eighty two and another model, if you like having another UV eighty two style radio that you can trade batteries out and use the same charger for multiple radios, then this might be a really good option for you. It really depends on what you want. BTEC is, I have several BTEC radios in the ham radio spectrum, and I have been happy with all of them. My UV5X3, which is a tri-band 2-meter, 220, and 440 HT, is one of my favorite tri-band HTs because it just, it sounds good, it works well, and every time I go to to uh, to use it, it, it's just rock solid. And it was done, there was a lot of upgrades done to that specific model by BTEC before uh, when it came out of China. In fact, they don't even really make, that's the UV5X3 is a model number specific to BTEC. Uh, there's not a Baofeng that's that same model, although they do make several models that are tri-band. So what are you trying to do? If you're happy with three and a half watts, if it's going to be enough for you, and quite frankly, there's got not going to be a there's not going to be a whole lot of difference between two and five watts, and there's really not going to be a whole lot of difference between three and a half and five watts. Is it worth another twenty or thirty dollars to get a uh, another one point five watts? I don't know. Depends on what you're trying to do. If you're like, well, I'm going to plug this into an external antenna and use it in my car, then yeah, probably so. But you ought to get a mobile radio that does forty watts. That'd be your better bet anyway. If you're just going to be using it with some some friends out overlanding, camping, and whatnot, you're all going to be relatively close together on flat land. This is going to work just fine. You're going to be on the beach. This is going to work just fine. So let me know who has this radio be below. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think about it. Those of you who said you got it to do 5 watts, 
What kind of meter were you testing it on? I'm curious. I would like to know. I was really kind of hoping to see five watts on the meter, but I don't know. Again, three and a half watts on a radio that's advertised only two watts. I think that's a good thing. Thank you for watching today. Put your comments below, and we will catch you guys next time.